piece of the past, and if you are interested in collectibles, Barbara Beck has some information for you across the way. Bogart or Mark Twain would be worth, we know because Carlos collects that kind of thing, but maybe you don't. And how about the original Batman and Robbie series? Well, my next guests know all that. And you can know that too by T Sanders. Good stuff for about the show. Well, everyone's going to have to come by to the Marriott on Saturday, February 5th at noon, and this will all be auctioned off there. Okay, let's get started. Okay. What's this? The Freddy Krueger um, with some other lady, <laughs> and it's a very <laughs> neat piece. And what, what, you know, what are you starting the auction for? It. I'm not. I'm and actually. Do you have a minimum bid for these kind of things? Well, people have been bidding all week by faxing in bids, and oh. right now I believe this is estimated a thousand to twelve fifty. Oh, okay. All right, let's move along. What's this? This is the very first person in space's communications helmet. This is Yuri Gagarin, who was a Russian oh, cosmonaut. Yeah. And the Sotheby's Soviet space sale was just recently. They didn't have any Yuri Gagarin space worn memorabilia. This is space worn, the very first. So, this where did rare. we get this then? Where this came this? out of Russia. Oh, okay. So a private a private this? party brought it out of Russia. A lot of the stuff's coming out of Russia now, and, no, and I, th I, this I, is actually expected to fetch between twenty-five grand and thirty-five thousand. Really? I yeah. was just going to ask you that. I didn't want to seem crass, but you handled it for me. And what is this? It's just a piece of. No, it's actually from Terminator Two. It's the prop where the cop is running after the kids in the car. I don't know if you remember that scene, and he grabbed on, and one piece stuck, and that's that piece. No kidding! Wow, is it signed prop. or anything? No, it's not signed. Oh, okay. So what do you think of? What do you think for this one? What do you think it's going to go this for? This will probably bring between five and six hundred dollars. Okay. Oh, all right. This is this is it. Can we get to this next? Because I want to make sure we get sure. to this in case we run out of time. Yeah. This is Joseph Stalin. This is um, a book signed by him. It, the autograph is right here. He's a very rare autograph, and it should probably go between twenty-seven hundred fifty dollars and three thousand dollars. Can you see that, George? Yeah, okay, I didn't want to move that. And what's this? A watch. This is a very nice looking watch, but there's more to it than that, huh? Yes, there is. This is John F. Kennedy's watch. It has an engraving on the back, if I can move this for you, Go ahead. where it has JFK engraved on the back, and it's dated his fourth wedding anniversary with Jackie. And it's actually a Cartier watch, and that should bring over $6,000. I guess so. Where, this one I've got to know, where did you get that? This, this was consigned from the leading JFK collector. He has everything from JFK's glasses to his rocking chair to just about everything in the oh, world. He's ready to give that up. Okay. He's ready to sell it. Oh, this guitar. Well, this is Aerosmith. This was obtained by the leading in-person collector, Michael Werman. He goes around meeting everyone. Celebrities hate him just because he goes and tries to get all the people to sign it. And this is all in-person autographs by Aerosmith. It's a Aerosmith. business then, huh? It is a business. And so what is this worth, do you think? This will probably bring anywhere between 1000 and 1500 Okay, let's get to some of the signed stuff here. Sure. Um, these, for instance. Can I move this just so we can get maybe a little better shot of what you're about to show us here? Sure. Okay. And are these anything? Or these, 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 these are, are these are auction catalogs. Stuff. They'll okay. be available at the auction once again. It's tomorrow at noon at the LAX Marriott, and the previews at 9 a.m. in the morning. Okay. Now, somewhere in here is something that we're doing for a good cause. I just know it. Is that here? Do we have that here with us? Yes. This is the one on the end, the right. Margaret Mitchell one. Margaret Mitchell. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that, Karen. Um, well, here she had written a letter in 1949 to her car dealer, and um, she wrote that she had almost gotten killed by a drunk driver, and then six months later she was tragically struck and killed by a drunk driver. And so this is an ironic letter that she was writing about it before, and then it actually happened. Whoa. Oh. Okay, so, what do you think that's going to bring? Um, we're Morbid? expecting 2000 to 3000 for this. Time. All right, we'll move on to the next mm -hmm. one here. And this one is a letter from Ernest Hemingway, and that's from 1929. Right, and the next item is a Robert E. Lee Civil War letter talking about ammunition, mentioning Harper's Ferry. It's, it's a really um, rare item, and that should bring over 35000 If I can also add something on the Margaret Mitchell, all the proceeds are going to go to Mothers Against Drunk Driving. So hopefully we'll get a good turnout and good bids for that particular Everything item. Everything from it? All the proceeds okay. from okay. that are going to Mothers Against Drunk Driving. All right. And this one? That's the letter I just spoke about. It's a Robert E. Lee letter mentioning Harper's Ferry, moving ammunitions. Just a really dynamite letter. Oh, they're beginning to blur. Okay, let's talk about this stuff. I mean, I don't know if this is your size, but you might be interested in this. Sure. Well, this is the creme de la creme of all the lots. This is the original Batman and Robin costumes from the 1960s television series. It wasn't actually worn by Weston Ward, but it was worn by the stunt doubles. And they're very rare, very hard to come by, vintage superhero costumes. And this will be a perfect item You should have had somebody. Eric. This looks like Eric's size, doesn't it? 
The Robin one. Would Does be this? Fire. This looks like Eric. We should have him modeling yeah. it because you really can't. You can't see the lines in the back. You can't see. Okay, and uh, this one. So if you look at both of these, you get something like this, and you get it from. These are all on consignment. Somebody's collected these before. And when you so so when you sell it, let's just give me an idea. Let's suppose there are people out there who have some stuff and they think uh -huh. that it might be worth something. What do you? What would they get out of this? What, what's okay, well, all, all they have to do is is they have to call us and say that they want to consign something. They yeah. come down to our our offices in Westwood. They they give us the pieces. We give them the contract, and then they go into the next auction. And we we're welcoming all consignments. What, what percentage do they usually get? Come on, I'm pinning you down. Okay, if, if you're pinning me down, we usually take around ten percent. <laughs> you take ten percent. Uh, we take ten percent. Yeah, that's not that bad. Oh uh, no. Okay, once again, you can make it out to that auction, um, and you can also make it to your your place on a regular basis. Huh? Right. Once again, Saturday, February fifth, tomorrow at noon. The previews at nine a.m. In fact, today we're having a preview at one p.m down at the LAX Marriott, too. Okay, I bet Ray Bruni will be there. He collects this kind of stuff, and this is Great. definitely Eric Spillman. We'll be right back. Thank you so much for joining us. At a Straight recent in. auction in Los Angeles, celebrity signatures were going for top prizes. Nate Sanders collected these autographs and also assembled an impressive catalog of memorabilia. The items include the Batman and Robin suits worn by the stunt doubles from the 1960s TV series, signatures from the Beatles, Signed vintage artwork from Walt Disney and a letter written by Gone with the Wind author Margaret Mitchell. Hey, the Margaret Mitchell letter is a really ironic letter. She talks to a new car dealer about not being able to buy a car, and she mentions that she was almost hit by a drunk driver once. Ironically, six months right after the letter sold, she was killed by a drunk driver, and we're giving all the proceeds of that letter to Mothers Against Drunk Driving. The Margaret Mitchell letter sold for more than $2,400. Overall, the auction sold more than a quarter million dollars worth of items.